I set up Arty Face Community Art 23 years ago in East London in Tower Hamlets. I've got a studio at the amazing Trinity Boy Wharf, I've been there 15 years, and also have a studio at home with a kiln and do a lot of the clay work at home. Fundamental to Arty Face is the team, it's not just me. Catherine Clark has worked with me for 21 years and Rebecca Tyndall for 16. Decide. Yeah, I think any art is going to come down. We can hide this bit of art if we, if we don't all the way down. I'm going to have to wash my hands after working with you. Thank you. <laughs> Over 23 years, we've had so many people work with us. They all come from creative backgrounds and bring their skills that are really fundamentally important to the creative ideas and coming to decisions. Catherine has 20 odd years as a graphic designer, and Rebecca is a fabric designer, and lots of other people have mosaic skills or painting skills, and they're all very important and we have to discuss and thrash ideas around. So many parts of the processes to making the mosaic, making the tiles, mixing the cement, grouting, making things fit the frames, and there are skilled framers and tilers, and also our sponsors like Ardex have been amazing. Pull, pull. Right, but yeah, pull, pull, moving. Yeah, good. A bit more. Right. We do have volunteers come and work with us sometimes, but that tends to be in the studio making the mosaics. But on the whole, we have highly skilled contractors who come and do the jobs, like putting things up on walls because it's a health and safety public realm job and it's really important that there are no accidents and no mistakes made so for example Sharon from Viva Tiling comes and does a lot of the tiling with us and she's a contractor but I am a Prince's Youth Business Trust business and they supported me and I'm very aware of training and helping younger people and helping them to become self-employed and giving them the skills that, that they need to run their own businesses many of our younger helpers have gone on to run their own businesses in set design or theatre design or interior design one of the things the team really loves, as well as everybody who comes and lays a tile or helps out, we've had some students come from some colleges to help out in the past, is that our work is on the street and in public places so they can go and visit them. Like Lyman's, for example, he's worked with us for years. Smear it on, push it in. Lyman's met us when we were doing a mosaic at Orthamstow School for Girls and he has a real skill for sewing and, and making things. And so he's ended up being a long-term, very, very valued uh, volunteer who comes and helps with things. Now, one of the things about putting things up in and working on the street is keeping everyone safe. It can be hot. It can um, be very narrow. We have to be careful of trip hazards. Certain, certain people have health issues. have to make sure that everybody is safe and well and hydrated and that everything is safe for the community and the public to walk by, as well as making sure the work gets up and finished in time and we finish in time for, to pack up and go home when the doors close or it gets dark. Over 23 years I've worked with some really lovely people and I've been told that working for the Artiface team has brought new opportunities, new horizons, new partnerships through business and new skills for people. So some people have gone off and set their own businesses up with other people they've met on the team and they're very proud of working in the community, proud of the work that they have up on the streets, proud of the people they've made and the contribution they've made and I'm really proud of what we've done together as a team.